hit our big time and get an Aegis, and then we'll be able to run around. So yes, it's all about smashes. They need to get the most out of their lanes. Storm Stormer has to pop off. It was enough with the rolling boulder and the smash and the, the ulti. So um, still no dagger points, but they just got the tower. That is a huge play by Hellbear Smashers, actually. They actually kept the void down a little bit. Bottom lane, the bashes are real. Oh, that power shot not connecting, but it still is going for. We'll get the kill on Tofu. And Taiga will get Aces Curry, and they're still making plays down here. They want this kill. Gilgar has made his way down, though, but there's just too much damage coming out from Samail. So they'll get that kill. Looks like Koifa probably going to pay for this, as Stormstormer is also here. Uh, for Liquid, um, getting two kills for the one. They're not going to take the tower, unfortunately, but I don't think. Well, oh, they go right past him. Storm Stormer, though, should be happy with this. Let's be careful they don't line up too hard here as Insania taking down. They're going for the Chronosphere, and they take down Insania, but Sumail is here, and they're just bursting down this Queen of Pain, plus the Shackle power shot coming out. Down will go Storm Stormer, and Mickey chasing after Gilgear is just going to push them away from his jungle. They moved uh, Insania towards the tower. Sumail TP'd at the perfect time. Mickey was in perfect position, so getting the Storm Stormer kill absolutely makes it worth it. Top lane, they're still hunting. They want to get rid of Razzus. Mickey has had enough of this bullet. The bill will go out. A couple of these bashes, though. Mickey needs a little bit of help here. I think he's going to be all right. It's going to be very close here, but no, he's got that heal on him. He's got the backtrack. He is fine as Taiga here in the bottom lane. He's just poking at Tofu. Does have to be careful because there is Storm Stormer making his own rotation. Off for Wolf, just nibbling over here, but you can see that Storm Storm is here. Taiga playing very carefully here. Decides, all right. Oh, maybe they go back in, though. There's Koifa. No blink dagger just yet. Double fluffy well, hat on the enchant. Smashers are effectively warded in the, into the jungle as well, so you know that they can control this now. This is pretty good for Venno, but on the same vein, the same thing's happening on the other side of the map. Liquid's finally invading the enemy side of the map. Um, Sumail has Maelstrom finished. He could dive this. A little dangerous. There's a lot of people nearby. Taiga, all right, Koifa's here. The blink is then revealed as they get the jump over here onto Tofu. He's not level six just yet. They go and they drop the rock. They'll chase them right away here. Tofu's ticking down to these bonds. So we're on the back lines. They're just gonna push them away with the magnetize, but that is, of course, the chaotic offering that just got dropped and they didn't manage. They got one kill. They, they power shot in through to pick off Tofu uh, as oh. ran to safety, but KB does Radiant's atrocious damage tower. per hit um, compared to what it used to do. It used Come to do like 75 magic disability. damage per hit. Now it does like 44 or something. Koifa just showing up and is going to get deleted here by Samail. A nice so jump there coming out from Koifa. And then that blink dagger changes everything now. Because now Rasmus, who doesn't have very many survivability items, can't defend himself if he gets gone on like that. Scary. Oh, there's the Chronosphere catching over onto two. The Sabaton's not going to be able to keep Ace alive as they're following up. Koifa gets a nice bash off. We'll follow up with the crash the line up here with the trees. We'll have that borrowed time. And he's just being a thorn in their side as they jump forward over here. They go and they drop the Chaotic Offering. They're going to try to re-engage. Sonic Wave comes out, though. Koifa's already dead. Now it's Sadia running for his life. But Taiga joining into the fight here. Mickey looking for the opportunity. He just can't seem to find his Insania over on the side. He is going to go down. Taiga just, just shipping away over on the other lines of Koifa, finding Storm Stormer, gets a nice bash off. They need more, and they'll be able to have the lockdown with the Chronosphere. Samael coming in hot with that power shot. And now Ace, he's already used the Stone Gaze. Samael is hot on his heels. He wants this. He's hoping he can line up the Shackle. We'll be able to go and land it over here onto Misery. Dofu coming in with those aphotic shields. Buys a little bit more time. Taiga having to be careful. Did get hit with that Veil. The perfect item for Mickey here. I don't think it's ever a bad game to find a shawl. There's always someone on your team yeah, that can use much. it. Just... Yeah, it's my favorite there neutral item for sure. I love getting in a lot of games. Roll forward, trying to grab Taiga to get the signs off and Sania, trying to keep him alive with the Shadow Word. Another roll forward here from Gilgear with the kickback. Samil, he wants this though, is going to be able to go and shackle Gilgear over here to the tree. He's going to burn him down very quickly, and they still haven't managed to kill Taiga with all of this healing. Over on the side though, Koifa is getting kited. Rasmus though, is going to try to get protected here by Tofu. Still kiting, still looking for this opportunity. Samil though, clicking away, trying to get some more of this damage off. We'll be able to go pop the shield again. Another one being tossed out immediately. Nice power shot coming through as Ace is wandering back in. Under attack. Here they go, blink in silence. There's the dagger, the ultimate, the full follow-up. Just a ton of magic, damn it. Pushing him away from the tower to lower his chances of living. He, he was a little close to living. It was pretty close. I feel like if he had a, a, a cloak, 
He might have lived if he had a hood. He definitely would have lived there. Would have taken a fight. That or just the fact that, uh, you know, he was silenced. We got the sprites off. Perhaps he could have survived more. No, lots of could have, should have, would have. But uh, over here on the side, Gilgir, he gets spotted out. And he is going to be a sacrifice to Samael. And uh, they're in the Roche pit, though. It's taking quite a while, though. I'm not sure. And look at the scan. They know. Pops coming too. Oh, the roll forward immediately. Eventually. Yeah, there it is. Koifa jumping right on in. They do have the size, but he's got the Manta, like we talked about. He's going to be able to backtrack away. There's hunting over here on the side. But oh, Koifa pops the BKB. Just takes down Guild Gear. Over on the bottom lane, Tofu has been left behind. He does indeed pop the Taiga. Gale is very counterable here and having time walk to be able to jump away from it, for it already just does enough. It's concerned that they don't have this lockdown as Koifa immediately the size comes out from Storm Server, but the Shackle and latches off to the side. Sumail's just going to rip him apart as Koifa will be the one who gets the kill. That was cool. Nice, nice play by Koifa to be, to basically keep his hero in that position. I didn't see exactly nice. how it started, but he knew his BKB was gone. Oh, I think, I think. That's an X. That's an X on Medusa. Yeah, he's had that. Stunts. I don't know. How do you approach well. this fight right now if you're Hellbear Smashers? Because, you know, you've got heroes that want to stand their ground, that want you to come to them. And look at this. Rasmus here. He's trying. He's being as pesky as he can, but it just doesn't feel quite as effective as he used to be. A Smail, when running over, looking for the Shackle, manages to land, but they get the Aphotic Shield up. But look at this damage coming out. It's just not looking like Rasmus is going to be able to survive this as the Power Shot comes through. And down goes the Venomancer. Melpa's basically an infinite amount. It's basically like a, it's, a, it's better than a javelin. Um, it's an insanely valuable for, for his single target damage. I wouldn't be really surprised if he doesn't use that. They see Gil Gear and they can see Ace walking on by. And immediately the follow up here from Samil. It's a quick pick off there with yeah. the power shots. That is just a gem that is down on the ground as the chase is on. They're going to back off from Ace here. Look at how fast this Medusa is just jogging home. Doesn't want anything to do with this, but Samil is looking for that latch here. Wants to get the shackle off. We'll be able to go and find Raz. This is more than happy with this as they just burst him down. Unstoppable. And, uh, oh, okay, Mickey's just, you know, playing around with Ace. Regen, armor, and status resistance if he goes in. That's very effective for initiating. <laughs> All right, Perch, how many Plague Wards do you think have been weeded out by Liquid? Uh, I'm going to say 40, is my guess. I'm going to go with... 41. 48. <laughs> okay. 42? Oh, oh, man. That was really close. <laughs> oh, no, Rasmus, they caught in the middle of... The puddle, he is just obliterated here as they go and they find themselves a gill gear over here on the side. Stone Gate does get used. See, Mick Gay is going to tie a little bit of time off here on the side and he's looking for the Chrono Spear. He just goes and immediately finds himself this Medusa. The rest of the team is here. They've got plenty of damage, but they do get the Sonic Wave off. So they'll bounce them up, but again, they follow up with that cave and offering. And she's tanky, but she's not tanky enough, Purge, because down goes Medusa. And the hunt is on. They're chasing after Rasmus. They'll be able to find the Venomancer. Tofu now running for his life, but Mick Gay says, come back here. He still wants this as he just chases after him. He's looking to get these bashes up. He's like, okay, you know, I, uh, maybe I'll back off. Feels like Koifa doesn't want to, though. And no, he does not as he chases Tofu all the way into the base. The Bash Brothers are real. And Samel will clean up over on Storm Stormer. <laughs> Easy breezy. Yeah, it's got the Mind Breaker and the Destin out. Easy kill. And oh, everybody on Liquid is so fun. Just the, the, the draft matchups as the game continues here. We're just so good for Team Liquid. And the racks are going down. There's no buyback over on the side of Smashers. They are just going for the finish here over here on Liquid. Zany just dropping down the upheaval. Sustain your base. You don't want to come out here. Panic fixed up now here from Mickey. It's just looking a little bit too difficult, but they'll throw out the fortification. Look at Ace, he's so slow. Mickey running, boops him on the nose, and goes right back to towers again. Doesn't want to get too over eager here. He's looking again, time dilation. Jump over here onto Rasmus, they've had enough. Like we said, this Venomancer has been a thorn in their sides. Although the disarm over on the side, but Taiga's just dishing out the damage over here onto Rasmus. Mickey gets the kill. And now it is Ace over on the back lines. They chased after Gilgir. They'll get that kill. And there's just no mana left here over on Ace. Mickey, though, he doesn't want to stare at her beautiful face just yet. It eventually does turn to stone again. But they'll go right back to hitting the buildings. Hoifman, though, he wants this. He wants this really badly. We'll end oh, up rocking. Yeah. But he went just a little bit too far. That puddle gives you some regen. But not quite enough there, friend. Oh, well, I can't throw. Good luck. 
Uh, they're trying. They fight back. They're going in again. The Sonic Wave. Can they blow up? Mickey is the question. It's not looking like it's going to be enough because Gilgir, he will fall. This BKB over in Storm Server is nice, but it's not enough to protect him as this Medusa just trying to dish out as much damage as she can, but she's getting stunned up. Koi for getting into position. And look at these split shots. She's trying. She's doing everything, but Ace has just not got the damage to take it down the side of the Liquid Storm Server. Gets chased down. The GG gets called. Liquid will take this in a 2 0 sweep. Really well played by Team Liquid. They, they got past the dangerous part of the game. The laning stage for Void was dangerous. Venno does huge amount of damage, but they offset it with the heals and some safe play. They did die once to some rotations, and Quop's fast Orchid was certainly a threat to a lot of their cores, but they bought enough time. They didn't get picked off too many times. They got the items they needed.